Hello YouTube, it is LoserKings007 here, and I am here to talk about the Horrid Command Pack for Gears of War 3. Now this map pack is 800 points, which is about $10 in the US, I don't, I don't really know about the money currency for any other countries, but yeah, it's about $10, which is 800 points. Um, it comes with three maps, Azura, Rustling, and Blood Drive, which is actually a Gears of War 2 remake. And Personally, I like the map pack. You know, if you're one of those people who don't really play Gears of War that much or, you know, you're not really into it, of course you're not going to buy the map pack. But for those avid Gears of War players, I highly recommend it. Now, it's not really about the maps. It's not really, I wouldn't call it a map pack because it's more of a Gears pack. I don't, I don't know if I'm saying that right, a Gears pack. Because um, it comes with more than just the maps, you know. It only comes with three maps, but those three maps you could be playing in multiplayer and versus mode. So, you know, there's a lot of replay value in each of them. The map, the map pack, or the, you know, the DLC comes with uh, two skins also, two camos, two skins. And I think that's a great deal because let's, let's talk about the skins. The skins are actually really good. They come with, um, there's a, a green one and there's uh, one of those team skins that actually comes in depending on if you're a COD player or if you're a Locust player. It'll either be like a red plasma or it'll be a red or a, a blue plasma for COD players. Camos are expensive. Let's if you go to the marketplace and you try to buy camos, they're about three to four dollars each. Just you know, just for one skin. And this DLC comes with two skins. So let's just say two three dollar skins is about six dollars. That's already more than half of how much a DLC cost. You know, for it being eight hundred points. Look, each map they're really cool. Because uh, they have their own little unique features to them, like rustling is actually inside a ship, a carrier ship, I guess. And when you look outside, it has a beautiful environment of rain and waves going up and down, up and down, and so does the ship. When you're actually playing, the ship will tilt left or tilt right because, you know, it makes you feel like it's swaying like you're on a ship. Azura just looks beautiful. It's, you know, bright environment, it's outside. Um, Blood Drive, it's just a remake of the Gears of War 2 map, but it looks pretty cool. They added little details here and there, but I'm pretty sure the layout looks exactly the same. Now, remember, this is the Horrid Command Pack, which means Horrid, hello? It comes with Horrid amount of, um, uh, fortifications, I guess? Horrid fortifications? Um, and here are the fortifications. Now, if you have DLC and you just bought it and you don't really play Horrid, all these fortifications, you're unaccessible to them. See, the way Horrid works is when you use different decoys like buying, you know, the barriers or getting the decoy or buying a turret, the more you buy them and the more you repair them, then the more experience you get for that. So this is practically a ending the level cap that you have for some of the fortifications. For example, a decoy, which is where you put a, like a cardboard of coal there and the, the enemies shoot them. Um, later on it turns into a dummy or whatever. But now with this DLC, that dummy, if you keep repairing it and repairing it and upgrading it, it turns into an onyx guard that actually follows you around the map. And the silverback, um, if you level it up now, it comes with rockets. And I thought that was in the game before, but I guess it wasn't. It's in the DLC now. And there's this new thing. It looks like a little TV monitor. And if you click on it, it actually brings in airstrikes, like mortar strikes and hammered on strikes around the map, which actually sounds pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how you unlock that, but it's, it's in there. Um, so yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for the Horde Command Pack. Um, hopefully next DLC we could have like a beast command pack or you know a beast mode pack because that would be pretty cool if you could like you know have three more maps but instead of more fortifications it will be like more locust players to play as or you know stuff like that maybe a, a campaign pack which has some maps and then a campaign mission you know I think this is how they're going to be putting it each month or you know every quarter of the year okay well thank you now this is my little mini review of the map pack Next week I will be posting Modern Warfare 3 videos, so look forward to that. Thanks guys, and peace!